Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Clemson Tigers and the Virginia Cavaliers. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. It could be upset city if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essential to control the tempo of the game. The Cavaliers should be in for what looks like an insurmountable battle, Dick. What are the keys for them to get a victory tonight? Well, there's a few things that they absolutely have to do. First of all, don't give up any easy uncontested shots from behind New York. Find those shooters. Second of all, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. Lastly, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the board. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Control of the ball. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. High post flashes for the ball handler. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. And so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Inside. He intercepts it. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Westbrook has got the fans roaring in a quarter. The fans know it's... There's the block. The point guard takes the pass. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's... He makes the block. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I did the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Westbrook is fired up right now emotionally. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. For two. Look at that shot. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. What a Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> High post flasher is open. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He shoots from left of the circle. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. With the fake on the dribble, gives it up. Look at that spacing. From the top of the key, it won't fall. The post flashes up high if he wants it. He puts up the three ball. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Good fake. There's a high screen. He looks for three. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. Working it around the perimeter. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. He shows the sweet touch. Missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Gave it up. 
And now they'll bring it up. Taken away. They get it out into transition. Hammers it down. Check him out, Brad. Trying to pack it inside. Double team now, bad angle. Fed the low block. Here's a double team. Looking for a good shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. High post flashes for the opportunity. There's the trap. For the bucket. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. There's a double team waiting there. He'll regroup the offense. But well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Set that screen away. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Side. Get that sucker out of the game, man. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Strips the ball. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Dump it inside. From downtown. They let him get into a rhythm. Here's a flash from the high post. He does the sweet fake shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. He pulls the trigger way off target. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Time to pick up the defense here now. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Takes away the pass. Length of the floor. Now they work it around the perimeter. He's got a nice shot fake. On the dribble, gives it up. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. And a momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two, in and out. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Up and inside. Double team now, bad angle. From the top of the key, the Cavaliers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball, it's simple. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the inch. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Oh, what a strip, Brad. Here they go, into the break. Goes up for two. He buries it. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk, lift their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For the bucket, Virginia are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. 
Gave it up. The power forward gets the pass. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, guys. In the paint, he pump fakes. Jump hook from the low block. I'd say a great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Here's a double team. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player, very difficult to block that shot. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in, then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Great anticipation defensively. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Tries for two. And he missed. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Both teams are looking to get something going here. There's the trap. This is what I call home court advantage. This is what it's all about. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Here they come now out of turn. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. That's a 9-0 run. Here's the three ball. You betcha. Basic. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> and Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. Got a nice screen. Draws the personal. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is not what anyone expected heading into tonight's matchup. Some sort of rhythm needs to be established now. All right, thanks, Aaron. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon, NBN. But inside, they've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. And the ball goes out of play. He shoots from outside. There was no doubt about that one. Let's see it if the replay does that any justice. The center takes the feed. 
That's been moves not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Virginia have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student section looks like they're having a great time. The ball goes out of play. shooting guard with the ball went away from the post and goes the other way the center gets the ball Pushing that basketball the frustration right there for two look at that try there that's more like my stuff wow little Barishnikov right there you always were a dancer <laughs> takes the pass in the paint that spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Stolen away. What a great strip. Drains the shot. On the outside. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Other team now, that angle. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> and he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. This is the team's first trip to the free-throw line. Routine. Virginia is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Yes, two with the charity strike. Nobody inside! A whistle and a foul. Coach now going to be in the sideline. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. They'll work it around the arc. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The student body is rocking tonight. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Big man spins, blocks the shot. Ooh. 
there's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to land the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Sinks the shot. That's incredible. We're going to move it around the perimeter. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. For the bucket. They still don't score. Clemson are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. for a good shot. Fakes it. Foul call up. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. Walker goes to the line for the first time. He can't buy one. Grabs the rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. They work it around the perimeter. He attempts the trifecta, and he misses the shot. Up and in. Looking for a good shot. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Off the rim and no good. Play that back for me one time. is dead. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work. 
for. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. At halftime, the Tigers are trailing by six. Virginia is having a great night shooting the ball so far, but you got to wonder, can they keep it up in the second half? Well, it all depends on whether they get too confident or not. Sometimes when players shoot well, they forget why. Most of the time, it's because they're shooting high percentage shots. If you don't take bad shots, you're going to have a high percentage. I smell upset, Brad. What do you think? I wouldn't rule it out, that's for sure. We've got a team who has nothing to lose and another that has everything to lose. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? For two, Virginia will always be remembered, unfortunately, for their loss to Chaminade in the Maui Invitational. Also, what's now referred to as the EA Sports Maui Invitation. Hey, that was unbelievable, Brad. Virginia was ranked number one at the time and had probably one of the best centers in the nation. Arguably one of the best college centers of all time. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Top of the circle, it sticks. On the dribble, gives it up, picks off the pass. On the outside, the power forward takes the pass in the paint. Nice shot. in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. There he is. Strips the ball loose. <laughs> Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Can't get the shot to go. Work the perimeter. Spacing the ball, to 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from the elbow. That's a good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Perfectly executed. There's a double team waiting there for the bucket. And he missed. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Another turnover. We're not talking apple turnovers either. They're working around the perimeter. Irwin makes a grip. He took it hard to the rack and got the foul. Well, that's what his coach likes to see. His boys going hard to the hole and not settling for the jump shot. He goes to the line. He buries it. Emery in the paint. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. And again, they look to run. Stolen ball. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gave it up. He tries the three ball. Knocks it down. Dick 
when I see those types of things, I just get chills. It's crazy in here, Brad. And offensive rebound. Great offensive rebound. It really is. Great step to the basket. Nobody put a bloody on him. On the outside. That's a high post screen. Close to the lane. He puts it in with contact and all. For two, perfectly executed. Listen to that reaction by the crowd. They're loving it. What a response. What enthusiasm. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nice high post screen. Picked off. Sinks it. High post screen, gonna use it. From three point range. It's good. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They work the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. That was nice. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. the student section did cheering on their classmates their peers if you ask any coach or player I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best they look like they're having a blast he tries the three Clemson are on a nice little run at the moment partner they have to remember solid defense leads to good offense which is what we're seeing right now they work it around the perimeter Way out on top, controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Tries for two, perfectly executed. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect that we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dump it inside. Goes up for two. And off the mark. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Tickles a twine. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. Number 21 is trying to get the fans involved now. He wants everyone up for the next possession. Here's the trap. On the dribble, gives it up. He strokes it way off target.
Dickey's working on that low block and that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to drive the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Picks off the pass with authority. Steals the ball. It's a fast break possibility. Clemson have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Got the shot if he wants it. And he'll kick it back outside. From right in the circle. Off the mark. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Gave it up. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. He takes it away. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Picked off. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Nice fake. The fake. He goes with a jump hook. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Number 35 with the fake. Here's a double team. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. Obvious foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad, this was something before the game the coaching staff warned the players all about. Don't believe in all this pre-game hype. Looks like some of these guys were reading too many newspapers before tonight's game. Makes his first. Those free throws come. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Steals the pass. Looking for a good shot. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Defense got it after knocking it loose. For two. Gets it to go. Now they're working around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. The bucket. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. In the paint, looking for the foul. Moving it around the perimeter. There's the screen up on top. He shoots from the baseline. The Cavaliers have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps in. He gets the bucket. The Tigers are up by four. He throws it up from downtown. That's good. Cue up the replay, fellas.
defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground there. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. The senior leader puts it in, plus one. He made a big basket right there at the right time, Brad. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. He goes to the free throw line. Gets it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The power forward gets the pass. Perfectly executed. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect that they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Westbrook handles the pass. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Takes the pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. Robs him of the ball. They push it up on the break. For the deuce, drains it. block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. If they can get a score, this place is going to go wild. That's a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Basket falls despite the contact. Man, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop in this possession. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Jumped in front to take it away. For two, gets it to fall. Albert handles the feed from a different area code. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. They'll work it around the arc. screen up and in here it is we'll 
take the shot. He buries it. He fires away. He gets the shot to fall. In the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestle. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play. But to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Second shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Picked out of the air. He fires from long range. Buries it. He intercepts it. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Gave it up. Intercepted. Cross court. Picks off the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. And a momentary look from three-point land. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position. So he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Too physical. Wow, Nick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Number 45 checks back in. Hey, yes, sometimes that quick breather can be the difference, Brad. Knox receives the pass. Launches away. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. Timeout's been called, so let's check in with Eric. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Aaron's right about that. There might be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. you got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. The center with the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Defense, defense, defense. The ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Great defense. On the outside, Ivy receives the ball. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. They call him Johnny on the spot, and that's how you keep your team in it, Dick. Hey, exactly, Brad. Plays like that motivate your team to keep fighting. Foul. 
stops the clock again. Turnovers, Dick, they just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. Misses the front end of the one and one. See what they set up, Dick. On the dribble, gives it up. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Hits the second. Timeout on the floor. It's a close one. The trigger fingers are getting itchy, baby. This one's too close to call. Time out, Brad. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. He shoots from long range. The Cavaliers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Players got a much needed breather with that timeout. Dick, we're going to OT. We're going with bells on, baby. Regulation could solve anything. These teams are headed into overtime. This is why looking at paper and playing basketball are two entirely different things, Dick. We're going to overtime in a game that we didn't even think would be close. I tell you, Shock City, but you know what? As the end of the dog, you don't want a moral victory. You want to close this baby out. Watch your head, young fella. The Cavaliers will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. The power forward gets the ball. They still don't score and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won or lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby. When you turn the rock over, is his first shot. Makes his second shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The power forward takes the feed. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Takes away the pass. For the 
bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Okay, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. They're working around the perimeter. The center takes the pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Pulls the trigger. Rims out. Doesn't go. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then the stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. First one is good. Gets the second shot. it up. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Stolen ball. They run it up into transition. He hits it. Moving it around the perimeter. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. It's a three-point deficit. And that can change in a matter of seconds, baby. Hold on. He's got to get rid of it. And they come with a double team to stop it. He nails the shot. off the lazy pass. They're working around the perimeter. They're working 
it around the arc. Picked off. This should be an easy two. He drains it. Timeout. Hey, these kids are driving me crazy, Brad. This game is too close. I'm starting to sweat, baby. Out of pressure. can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect him to quiet down, did you, Dick? Ooh, look at the shot blocker. They got some contact. Nice hops. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important point of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. no good. Dick, it seems like they really don't care what the final score is. They just want to put up that W. That's all that matters. Well, they're impressive because they understand one another, and they love playing together. They are so unselfish. I think their commitment to winning is what it's all about. Win, win, and win. Virginia fails to come up victorious in this overtime matchup. I don't think anyone expected them to pull out a win tonight. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.